Have you ever heard of the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? Well, one of the ideas that has become popularized in the book is to make the, the desire for money your sole purpose. That you've got to want money so badly that it becomes this white hot fire within you. And that if you de de develop this intense desire for the money, then you will much more likely gain it. Now, I have done some of the exercises in Think and Grow Rich, and I've known many other people who have done the same. And it hasn't worked out. Instead, it created a lot of grasping, uh, desperation even because if you desire money that badly and you every day you don't see it yet it is not the healthiest mental state to be in instead the way I recommend relating to money is that it is a side product of doing something that is of real value to others it is a natural result of structuring how you use your time and your energy to be in service to others in a way that they so appreciate and understand paying for. And if you relate to money as a natural byproduct, then you see, oh, if what I'm doing isn't creating money, let me try serving in a, in a way that's even more contributory to others in a way that they understand to pay for it then the money will come obviously and naturally and that's what I've dis discovered in my own business and in my own life as well I think when we instead develop this white hot desire for money we love it so much that we start to prioritize that above our own physical well-being our own emotional well-being we become easily infused with anxiety grasping lack of security fear of not having that money greed of wanting to have be, become a millionaire a billionaire okay uh, and we we make ourselves not happy until we're able to finally get that money it creates a mental state that starts to erode our relationships for the people around us as well. And we start treating other people as a means to the end of our vision for how much money we want. So I hope that you'll be very careful not to apply that kind of priority about money and instead see it just like success. See it as a natural byproduct of doing things that are of real service to other people in a way that they understand to pay for it if you are trying to sell something that nobody has sold and people aren't used to paying for it well of course people are saying well I don't understand I, I've never bought this kind of thing and I don't never know don't know anybody else who, who's, who buys this kind of thing but you need to structure your service in a way that they uh, to sell it something that they are familiar with buying and then if you are of true service and it really makes sense to them, of course, then they will buy it. I hope that this is helpful as a reminder of how to relate to money in a healthier way. And as always, I am open to your questions and your comments below the video.